Mr. X here with this crazy Hulk collectible. You're not gonna believe it, this guy is pretty badass. I was shocked. However, there's just one big problem with him. He's so tiny. That's what she said. <laughs> Welcome to the Extreme Channel. First, before we start, how many of you are quarantined? Go ahead and comment below and let me know. Second, before we get started, we are actually giving away some crap to you guys. There's a number of stuff going on. First, we are giving away these two Venom statues, so make sure to stay tuned in towards the end of the review to find out how you can win these. Second, we are giving away Extrizes. That's right, Extreme Prizes. On the 15th of every month, we pick random comments and we send you Extrizes. So make sure you comment on this video. Now we're gonna dive in. This is INF, that's the name of the company, Hulk. I pulled it out, I whipped it out, and I was really excited, as you usually are when you whip it out. But uh, then, as I put them together and took pictures, I stayed excited until I found something that just really turned me off and I became flaccid. So we're gonna talk about all of that, but I still think it's an excellent piece. Reason why I purchased him is I have an INF Venom. The review of it is actually right here, and here's a picture of these two together. This is going in my office, because coincidentally, in my office, I have a huge Venom display, and I have a huge Hulk display, and they are both in the works because they're about doubling in size. You can actually check all of that out in this office review right here. So these are kind of counterparts because they're the same concept, they're the, from the same company, and to my knowledge, this company is fairly new to the Marvel game. I don't know if they're licensed or they're custom. I do know they made a Spider-Man piece that looked pretty cool, and after picking this one up, I might want to check that out as well. We're gonna do an extreme review on him. We're gonna talk about the paint, the concept, the sculpt, all that crap. Cost on him was $275 plus about $40 shipping, which is about right for whatever scale this is. I don't know what scale this is. If I had to guess, I'd probably say this is about one eighth, something in that range. And it really is difficult with Hulk because he is polymorphic, meaning many sizes. So let's dive in. First, we're gonna talk about concept. And with concept, because it's Hulk, Hulk has been done so many different times, one of the things I personally look for is did they do something different? And they did here. So let's check this out. He's on a city street where he is destroyed. He, there, you can see the Hulkbuster helmet and parts of Hulkbuster. And as you move up, you'll notice he is flying through the air, which is very different and unique. And we'll talk more about that in design. You see broken parts of the street, maybe they're parts of a building. And he has classic Hulk rage. Very pissed off, very crazy. His face it has a lot of humanoid features, so he's not really the creature-esque Hulk, which I think that was kind of a mistake in concept. I think they should have went with that. But one really unique thing, here is a side shot. This is what INF does with their characters. They make huge torsos and itty bitty bodies. And it's kind of comical, and it adds to the comical aspect, the funny aspect of the statue quite a bit, I think. And what's interesting, though, is those smaller part of the bodies are right here, and this is more of a display thing, usually display it like this, so you don't actually see that comical part. So it's kind of like a hidden joke, if you will. <laughs> so conceptually, I like a lot of the stuff they did. I think it's great that he's flying. I think it's great that he's showing his power. He's destroying a common Hulk enemy. I think it's awesome that they do something different with the smaller part of the torso. As I said, the portrait, and we're gonna look at that close with paint and sculpt, to me, it's not angry enough. He looks too human-like to be tearing things apart, so I think that's a little bit of a miss. So overall concept, I think it's very nice. It's a three out of five. It's a very nice concept. They captured the essence of Hulk and they did something different. Now we're gonna talk about design, which is a little weird on this guy. So first, let's look at the packaging. Very large box for such a small statue. Very cool art box, check this out. Actually has clips from Hulk comics. I really like that they did this. I'm not an art box guy at all, but this was really cool. And I don't think they did this with the Venom. Has your standard custom black foam, packaged very well, just one layer here. And then as you see, it was only a few different pieces. I did have one broken part damage. Kind of see this uh, circuit or whatever it is coming from Hulkbuster is broken off. And kind of an interesting note how it was assembled. Obviously, 
Hulk keys in to the Hulkbuster helmet with his arm and then his knee keys in back here. The street light keys in. And then this is just a friction grab. So there's no key or anything. You just set this in his hands, which could create some paint issues at another time. Let's get dimensions on him. Probably the tallest part is right at 12 inches. Um, the widest point is right at 11. And on his depth, on the bottom, you're looking at about eight, maybe a little bit more with the street light. I don't know if I talked about addition size at all, but they did make 200 of these. So fairly small addition. With that being said, uh, everything keyed in perfect. And even this piece right here, it's not gonna fall out. So I give them props on that. However, I do worry about paint issues. There was one thing that totally threw me through the edge though, and this is the thing that made me flaccid. So it came fully assembled, but just like the Venom, horrible seam lines, horrible. Check out the arms. This is horrid. Huge miss on this. You would think they would have learned from Venom. I don't know why they can't print uh, and cast the entire thing as one piece. They should be able to, or even try and hide these seams better. But this is a huge turnoff to me. And while you have to keep this into perspective, remember this is not a $800 or $1,500 piece. It is a lot smaller. Um, but uh, I think something that notable is just unforgivable in my opinion. So unfortunately, we're gonna give it a U for ugly on design. That's a two out of five. It has a lot of other redeeming features and I think that's why it's not straight out trash. But those kind of seam lines on Hulk, one's almost a gap, are very hard to forgive. But let's dive into paint and sculpt, and kind of a spoiler, I think Hulk is cool. I think the base is really good. I think the base is a lot better, but we'll start there. First, the concrete looks great, and I remember this is similar with Venom. That there's great texture, great shading, great coloring. Looks like real concrete. I like how it's broken up, whether it's jutting out. They spent a lot of cool time and detail on this base. I give them a lot of props for it. Over here is kind of like a pillar that looks good. A little bit different texture on here, different shading as well. You can almost see some ornate designs that have been, uh, that have been destroyed, some huge cracks in this, some different colors. There's some iron on the other side that's presumably from a building, has some rivets in it. Uh, they used a little bit too much copper rust color on here. They kind of splashed it all over the place. I don't mind it too much, but I definitely think it could have been done better. But the other coloring on it and you know the cracks and wear in it are, are very good. Also, another kind of bent pole that has this yellowing all over it. It adds a lot to the base with the contrasting of these colors. Same thing can be said about the traffic light pole. Has your barbershop stripe, yellow and silver. And then the stoplight itself has a lot of the copper color, a little bit too much of it. In the front, I understand what they're trying to go for with the lights, but I would have rather had uh, just clear uh, resin of each color, red green and yellow. These kind of look like candy that's in there, but it kind of adds to the comical nature of the statue. Let's look at the Hulkbuster helmet. Very good job on this. Uh, very destroyed. Tons more of that rusty color, both on the plates on the side and the helmet in the middle. Uh, the contour where his hand uh, is crushing it is perfect. Split in half. Let's look at Hulk starting with his legs. Uh, they really over-muscularized Hulk, which is what you're supposed to do, which is smart. Uh, on his legs, it looks strange though because his legs are so small and short. So it's a contrast of those two things together. And there's tons of shading on here, the darker and lighter greens, and you're going to see that all throughout, especially where his muscles are indented. But the feet kind of look funny. Pants look great. Uh, they have some texture on it. They're able to sculpt in pockets and where it's torn at. This is all sculpted, both on the front and back. Really nice job. A tear in his uh, left uh, upper thigh area here. And then let's look at his muscles, both on his arms and his legs. You see a lot of veination, if that's even a word, a lot of veins going through. And here you're seeing that different color of shading I was just talking about. His muscles are very symmetrical, so one disadvantage, if you're really into anatomy, his muscles wouldn't be in the exact same position uh, with his body bending like it is. So if you can get past that, you're fine. It's almost a little too veiny. A, that's what she said. Here's a close up of the Hulkbuster piece he's holding in his hand. I really like they added this, that's, that's smart. Check out his hair, a little too well combed. Again, this is maybe what that makes it look humanistic and you see a lot of gray running through there. So maybe an older version of Hulk, who knows. His portrait's pretty cool. 
If you can get past the fact that it looks more like a person than Hulk, a lot of cool things going on here. First of all, the eyebrows fully sculpted. Great expression on his face showing his rage. Tiny nose and really overdone mouth, which again adds to that comical cartoon feel. I don't know if you can see it in his eyes. He has the green eyes, but then you can see the red uh, veins in his eyes, uh, really to show the rage. The inside of his mouth is done fantastic. Great paint job on his teeth. They're not too clean. You have the moist effect, his tongue, his gums. So some crazy results here. First of all, honestly, for the sculpt, I don't, I think I have to give it a four out of five. It's a W, it's a rail. It's a really well done sculpt. I think the only thing I would recommend different is that his anatomy should be a little, shouldn't be so symmetrical with his body twisting like it is. And especially if you include the base on that. The paint, there are certain parts I'd, I'd give it a four out of five and certain parts I'd give it a uh, three out of five. So I think we have to go with the lower grade and the paint is very good. Now we'll talk about value. You know, realistically, this isn't much smaller than some one-fourth scale premium formats that run for six, seven hundred dollars, and this is half that price. Um, it doesn't take up a lot of space, which is smart. Other than the seams, the seams are really bad. Other than that, it's a great Hulk collectible. If you're a collector on a budget and you want a Hulk statue, this is a fantastic one. Uh, so for 275 bucks, I think the value on this guy is a W. It's a very it, it's a rail, it's a four out of five on the value. Especially if you're looking at collecting like a whole Marvel line or however many different pieces they're doing on this guy, uh, you could do it for a more affordable option than spending $700 on each piece and you save a lot of space. So overall, interesting. I don't think I can legitimately give it a score higher than a three with those seam lines. I know I keep going back to those, but uh, it's Hulk, it just, it is. And I have so many Hulk statues. In fact, in a minute, I'm gonna show you next to some Hulk statues. Uh, so let's give him an overall value of a three out of five, a very nice. Very happy I added him to the collection. Right here is a picture of him with some other Hulk pieces in the office. And if you've seen the office tour, you'll know exactly where this is at. So if you wanna win those Venom statues, make sure you've liked this video if you have not already. Also make sure you've subscribed and hit that bell notification so you know when that uh, Venom giveaway video drops and then you'll get further instructions. Also, if you've commented on this video, that'll enter you into the March through April extrise drawing. So I'm gonna pack him back up, take him to work, which you guys have already seen the pictures from because you traveled into the future, it's amazing. And uh, very happy, so stay tuned and you will see some more video close-ups of this guy. Thanks so much guys, take care.